And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Space Spanking writes, Hey, John. Deadline just reported that Viggo Mortensen, the amazing Viggo Mortensen, Kristen Stewart, and Lea Sedow will star in David Cronenberg's sci-fi thriller, Crimes of the Future for Neon. I love this cast, and the synopsis makes me more excited. What do you think about this? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, listen, I, I always get excited when you hear about a really interesting filmmaker. And Rob, if there's no other way, if there was no other way to describe David Cronenberg, it is an interesting filmmaker. Uh, when you combine an interesting filmmaker with incredible talent, and obviously Viggo Mortensen falls into that, and now they've announced that they've got a project coming together. This comes to us from the folks over at Variety who write, Kristen Stewart and Viggo Mortensen will star in David Cronenberg's Crimes of the Future. The story, listen to this, the story of a popular performance artist whose shtick involves growing new organs in his body. The film is set in a distant future where humans have evolved beyond their natural state and into a metamorphosis, altering their biological makeup. In this setting, a performance artist named Saul Tenser embraces accelerated evolution syndrome, sprouting new and unexpected organs in his body. Removing those organs becomes a new kind of theater, one that earns a following as well as the attention of the government. And that, of course, comes to us from the folks over at Variety. You add Lea Sedow in there, and listen, uh, Kristen Stewart, think what you want about some of the movies that she does. She's a very, very good performer. She's actually a very good actress. I don't think she's as good as Robert Pattinson is, but both her and Pattinson have actually grown into like really good performers, even if you don't like the individual stuff. <clears throat> Charlie's Angels. Even if you don't like <laughs> the individual projects they're in, she's actually a very, very good uh, actress. And this, Rob, this sounds... As David Cronenberg, as a David Cronenberg story can possibly sound. This sounds like right up there. When you're talking about the guy who did The Fly, when you're talking about the guy who did Crash, I love Crash, by the way. It is so psycho. People who get sexually turned on by car crashes. It, but I yep. think the movie's amazing. When you're talking about this guy, I mean, he can do so much. This sounds right up his alley. Rob, you've heard about this now. What do you think about the sounds of this project? Oh, you know, I did my whole show about this yesterday, John. Um, this is one of my most eagerly awaited movies that is being made right now. Awesome. I read, I, I'm a huge, huge, huge David Cronenberg fan. I discovered him in my younger days with his first feature. They came from within, a.k.a. Shivers, a.k.a. The Parasite Murders. I'm a huge Cronenberg fan from way back. I love his body horror movies. Uh, Shivers, The Brood, Rabid, Videodrome, um, The Fly crash and of course ringer. he's worked with mortensen before in eastern promises which yeah. was so good yeah and uh i'm a huge huge fan this screenplay i read the script for crimes of the future about 25 years ago and he had it he was going to do it perhaps after crash in the mid 90s but didn't and i actually met him at a screening it was a it was a after crash had won the award for audaciousness at, at the Cannes film festival there was a screening here at the Sunset Five, which then became, it's not here anymore, but uh, he was there. And I went up to him afterwards after the, to talk to him. And I mentioned in passing, I said, you know, I've read your script for Crimes of the Future. And he was not happy that I had read the script. And he <laughs> asked me, where, where did you, I said, well, I was, I was, I was a script reader at, at, at various agencies around town. And I'm a huge fan of yours. And he was like, oh, okay, you know. And then he said, we're trying to raise the money to make it. This script is bonkers i mean it is so it takes all of his body horror ideas and it it's the culmination of existence you know all of it in one in one thing and it is he for those of you who know cronenberg he also made a student film one of his he made two that were that were of some note stereo and he made crimes of the future as a student and you can get those films. I think Crimes of the Future is actually on YouTube if you want to watch it. He made that in either the late 60s or early 70s. It has nothing to do with that movie. But it's the script is crazy. And it also deals with uh, what they don't mention. And if it's still a part of the script is that there's a law enforcement division in the script that is going after uh, crazy behavior that has yet to be classified as criminal. 
So when this syndrome happens and people start spontaneously generating organs and then this group is putting people on stage and surgically removing them and then like tattooing the new organs is something, it's just crazy. There's a cop that goes undercover in this group because he too is starting to generate these organs. And he does this to see, is there something criminal going on here? And I love this script. It is so weird and so bizarre. And I can't imagine what it's going to look like. Some of the things that happen when they visualize them on the screen. <laughs> but this could be the most David Cronenberg of all David Cronenberg movies. And I cannot wait, John. I can't believe this movie is getting made. And uh, I am so excited. Question is for you guys. What do you think about the sounds of this project? I, I, I'm going to admit, I am completely fascinated with the idea of it. How do you guys feel about it? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys. 